Hey guys, welcome back to another Ark Taming Series video. Today, we are under the we are after the newest creature from the Additional Creatures 2 Wild Ark mod. And I am really excited about checking this one out, guys. Really, really excited. We are after the Great Horned Nurse Shark. And there's one around here somewhere. We just have to find it. Um, I had it pictured before. Let's kill this thing. Come on, let's see this. So as you guys may know, the, nor the nurse shark in real life is a bottom dweller. It literally stays on the bottom of the ocean. Feeds on crustaceans and the like um, in real life. Nurse sharks are extremely docile in real life, but they literally stay on the bottom of the sea floor. So, the way this creature is described in the mod dossier, I'm really excited to check it out. And I think there's one right over here that might be getting eaten by a Megalodon. Um, so I'm gonna try to save it. We have done so. All right, so now, this is a passive tame, and it takes either raw squid meat or simple kibble. So raw squid meat is um, is something you get from the same mod. Um, I don't actually have any on me at the moment, so we are just going to try to feed it with simple kibble, and hopefully it'll work just as well. So we're just going to approach it. Oh, it's so cool and feed it the kibble now I'm gonna stay close by because I got the bint wrong on my shoulder that's gonna um, increase his increase his food drain now if this works like a normal passive tame then you have to drain 10% of its food value in order to feed it the second one and he has almost 30,000 food. So that means almost 3,000 food drain before we'll be able to feed it the second time. And it looks like it's going to take four feedings of simple kibble. Now, I am extremely excited about trying this creature out because it essentially acts like an underwater deodon. And it also treats the seafloor like it is the ground to a flyer, supposedly. So in other words, right now you'll notice it says landing on its uh, in in the um, awesome spyglass, and I'm really really excited to try this one out. Now the horned nurse shark is located obviously in oceans, and on Gen One it's in the ocean swallow, uh, yeah swallows shallows. Now um, it it is it is even. It is an evolved descendant of the equally placid, placid modern species of this creature, which, I, as I told you, is extremely docile. It is not a threat to survivors unless it's provoked, because it prefers to munch on shellfish and ammonites. Um, if tamed, the nurse sharks are capable of living up to their name as aquatic healers. Secreting pheromones that induce recovery in allies and itself, which I can't wait to try out. Yeah, it's going to be cool. So um, I will go ahead and fast forward once we have um, the creature ready to be fed a second time. It does look like it's following the same mechanic of 10% of its food having to drain. Some of the creatures in this mod don't do that, but apparently with this one it does. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward to the second feeding, and the third and fourth should be pretty quick thereafter. So don't go anywhere, guys. All right, so I'm back. We are just about at the 3,000 um, food drain, so it should be asking for a feeding here any second. There it is. All right, so it added not very much food, so the third and fourth feeding should go really quickly as well.
And if you have questions on how the food drain works on passive creatures, just let me know. There we go. There's our first ever nurse shark, horned nurse shark. We're going to add a saddle to it. Again, the saddle is got at um, level 45. And so, yeah. So, you are essentially on the ground. Or the, or, the, or the ocean floor. So now you have to think of this creature exactly how you would a flyer. Okay? Which means you are going to stay on the sea floor unless you take off. And take off is the same button as if you were on an RG or another flyer. And that's for PC is spacebar. So I just hit spacebar. And now you will notice that my stamina is draining. Okay? So you have to mind your stamina when you're swimming. Because apparently you will fall to the floor just like a just like a flyer. I don't wanna I don't wanna lose it, so I'm gonna just be careful here. Now I don't wanna fly into or fly swim into something that's bad for me. Now the other thing is just like the reverse, okay, we have bad things coming. So we're going to go up here. Just like in reverse, if you want to land, quote-unquote, you hit X, and it will immediately go to the floor of the, of the ocean. So space bar to go up, X to land, and it works every single time. Now, in the wild, these things will get um, passive-aggressive against... Um, Trilobites and ammonites and things like that because they enjoy eating those things. Um, the the left bite on this left click bite is super weak. This is not a fighter, okay? But it is really really good at collecting um, silica pearls and black pearls. 210 pearls I just got from that one little harvest. 300 there. And it also decreases the weight of both types of pearls in the inventory by 30%. Okay? Which is really cool. Now, again, keep an eye on your... I'm just worried about this Megalodon here. I hope he leaves me alone. Keep an eye on your stamina. Now, the other thing that it does, which is what I'm super stoked about because of underwater bosses, um, both of the, you know, Genesis 1 variety, but also there are modded underwater creatures, underwater bosses. So this guy will come in huge clutch because the right, right click does a health pulse. See? And what that does... It does an instant AOE to allies that heals them and then itself by 15 stamina per second and 75 HP per second for a time. It doesn't say how long. However, this costs a large amount of stamina and cannot be used if you have insufficient stam. So again, this is what it looks like. And you can see in the upper right... It's called Nurse's Heal. Okay? So that is the Nurse Shark. Let's see what's happening. We are losing food very quickly from that as well. Um, which is also what the Deodon does. The Deodon loses food quickly when it's AOE healing. So keep that in mind. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this thing to the surface. We'll take a picture of it. And if you guys found this video useful, please um, show it some love. Um, definitely, if you haven't gotten the additional creatures 2 mod yet, make sure you do. The Wild Ark mod is amazing. It's now got 70 different modded creatures in it. And this is just the newest of many. So we're going to go ahead and cryo him up. If you'd like to see more like this on the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. And I will catch you down the road.